Welcome to this episode of Yahoo of the Day. My name is Kojo Shouting. The head is big for a reason. This video is brought to you by Bit Africa. Download the Bit Africa app and use it to trade your Bitcoin. I'm here with Ace Kanti. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go straight into it. Yeah, 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 Tijasso. I'm on fire. Alan Kojo Chiramating. Yes. It's not even Chiramating, it's Chiramating. Nobody yeah. say, person say you won't do Afro Franto. Oh, then I want to you me, yo, yo, yo. Anyway, so um, since your man announced his resignation uh, from the new patriotic party to, uh, to stand as an independent presidential candidate uh, for the upcoming election, yes. he's been on a media tour. Yeah. And see, if you know, we say this thing, they happen, I cannot know say how they talk like that too. Hey, sir. And okay. some she shut that okay. come when you want. Hey, Alan. Best day. It don't be small. Yeah. Normally, uh, Alan Trade Minister, I don't know about you Yes, no, I can't bro, no, I call the district uh, manufacturing of the tomatoes has the, some has catapulted Ghana to the, the, the world <laughs> index through the cocoa beans. And one, no, no. Hey, I like country. Hey, oh, take your love for cause of party, mm. Musa. Person self, he dies, self get you. Be a virgin in the end. Hey. But then it, this first before before we go proceed to talk about, I did one comment. Too beautiful. Newscasters, journalists, yeah. where as this thing happened, they say them they forget. They will step on the necks Next. of politicians. Yeah. They will ask the right questions. They wouldn't do psycho fancy. Yeah, so they will invite you to their, they will invite you to their show. And you will come. And when they invite come, you, you will come. You will come because <laughs> they, they will that kind of authority. And when you go there, they will ask you the right questions. The questions that people are asking on the street. Big up to Nasha comments. Yes. Like, what shock him? 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 Bella Mundi is also the better to the Anya in the BD. Bella Mundi. Bella, I'm better to the Anya. I'm a new one. I'm a Mundi. Mundi. Bella, I'm better to the Anya. I'm a Nasha. I'm a Mundi. Mundi. Because, hey! This is nothing concrete and that it's, you know, the rhetoric as usual. Don't you find that disrespectful to the young people who voted for your president and vice president to come into power? Reason why you probably also occupy the position that you had occupied even before within the party you began um, your job as a national youth organizer? Uh, Bimbella, I don't know where you're coming from with the word disrespect because there's no disrespect as far as opinions are concerned. If Salam. we express our opinion, Salam we Mustafa. call that disrespect. Salam Mustafa. Yes, I I'd, like to ask you, I'd like to ask you a direct question. Um, still on your point number three. So... It's Salam. Our opinion as well. Salam. It's our opinion yes, we appreciate your opinion, opinion. but I, I want to ask you a question about your point number three, because you itemize things which you consider a usual rhetoric. You mentioned one, the motorway; two, fix the road; three, cost of living, and other tangentials. Salam, do you use the motorway? Well, of course I do. I, I, what is the state of the motorway in your opinion? And let me also tell you that if you follow just the please answer my question. Motorway, what is the state of the no, motorway I'm in your opinion? You ask a question, and I'm answering. So you listen to me. If you use the motorway today, you will see that work is ongoing, especially from the uh, interchange being done from the Spinkers to East Lagos to the motorway. So if you followed what we did in 2019, when the second phase was commissioned, we said that we're starting the, 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 the third phase, which includes the interchange. Okay, let me tell you, I was on the motorway the yesterday. To, I was on the motorway yeah. yesterday, and I noticed there's work around the Accra Mall end of the motorway. Before the toll booth, the actual motorway, which has been the cause of countless accidents over the, I don't know how many years. I was afraid for my life while I drove on the motorway yesterday. The potholes are endless. There's been a constant call by young people, in fact, all Ghanaians, asking for the motorway to be fixed. I do not think, yes, Salam, I, I, I do not think, Salam, I do not think, Salam, that yes. if people are out I on the streets calling the for these things to be fixed, that it is okay for you to write a very long letter calling these things rhetorics bordered on political lines. I do not think, of course, there were I do not think done. that, and that one, just I as you have agreed that the motorway is bad, you should throw opinion. it off as a rhetoric. I also do not think that the many things yes. that who feels it knows it, perhaps because of your your position or because of the experiences you have in... in and no, it's small. They will call this one fire. Call this one fire. On phone, no oh. joke about life, you know, it, it, yes, no test me. You, email. you know they see your face self for the phone Obe job, Obe 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 if you come in-house studio, so they are sorry for yes. you. Big ups to them. This be the people this be the, they want. Oh, right, they. If they watch the interview, like, yeah, they are open on the way beside, you know. Exactly, that's this what we are calling This is what journalism for. is about. Kangun. 
Yes, so you know, no, oh, massaging issue. No, they no, are massaging no, no, no. their egos. Nah. Hit the nail. If there is spot hole on the road, let them know there is spot hole on the, on the road. road. You have not insulted them. You are just asking the right questions. And if a lot of journalists in this country go 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 there on this part, I think we go figure solutions yes. to our problems. Expose all of them to big ups to Nash or big ups to the, uh, Belamundi. But yes, Belamundi this morning yes. was on the neck of Alan Kojo Chiamatin. Question was asked. And the way Alan answered him, I said, hey, hey. Scanty, you're a little bit cool. 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 You're a little no drop a bar. Ah, Brian. Me anga sadie me yuko. Why you there? Me yuko. Yuko. Why didn't you do anything or speak up about the economic challenges Ghanaians were facing during your time with the ruling party NPP? This was the question Belamundi asked. Alan was his response. Yuko Street. And even beyond that, you served about six years in the current administration. Oh yes, yes. As well, six long years yes. as Minister for Trade yes. and Industry. Yes. Things clearly weren't going right within the party based on Ghanaian sentiments. And I'm Ghanaian. Yes. I wasn't too happy with a lot of things. In the party. Within well, I'm not a member of the yeah, party. No, no, but, but you know, yeah. You know, generally yes, yeah. in Ghana, things didn't look right. Yes. And we had complained severally about those things. Yeah. We didn't hear you speak up about those things. But is that what you expect a founding member of the party to do? That if there are challenges in the party, I come out openly to speak about it no, for no, whose benefit not just challenges within the party but generally oh, you mean in the generally country? in the country as well i mean you talk about the fact that for a long time from yeah. 2007 2008 up until now you've been victimized along with people yeah. who followed you yes so imagine what Ghanaians have been through and that's why we're asking that okay why okay. has it taken you so long to speak yeah. up and endure and take up a position within yeah. this government even when all this was happening to you yeah. and Ghanaians were also struggling yes well but um if i'm part of let's say, a group at the very senior level, I don't think it is appropriate for me to come out to criticize the government when I'm aware of the challenges and whatever was going on. As I said, I've been a senior member of the party. The last thing I would do is to claim that I had no knowledge of whatever I was going. So you were very much aware of everything. I was very much aware of everything. Mm. But I'm suggesting to you mm -hmm. that it is not appropriate. I mean, if people, if some people uh, would have taken a different view, that you are part of it, and then you come out and you are making noise about the government, then why would you not step out? Sir, there were young so people I understand who didn't you. have jobs. Sorry? There were young people who didn't have jobs. The health sector was struggling. I yeah. mean, literally every aspect of the economy was struggling. And you're saying that as a senior member, there was no way you could have come out to speak about some of these things that Ghanaians were speaking about. How then do we trust the, the, you now well, no, that okay. you are coming out to say you want to be president and you yeah. care about Ghanaians? Uh, you, you, I think that there's time for everything. Now, it's a process that you go through in governance. You know, when you need to speak about an issue, mm. you find the appropriate time to speak about it. Okay. Especially when you are aware of the circumstances that have given rise to the situation that you find yourself in. So I'll give you a typical example. Okay, sir. But let us also not make it as if the MPP, right from the beginning, had a very bad record. That is not so. Mm. I, I would dispute that. Okay. Because... To be fair to the party and uh, our president, remember, we came into office at a time when the country was on an IMF program. Mm. Within a matter of two years, we were able to exit from the IMF program, which at that time was unprecedented. Mm. We were able to exit from the program, and between... I would say 2018 and 2020, mm -hmm. we recorded uh, one of the highest uh, growth rates in our economy. We had introduced the free SHS program. 
-hmm. which was an innovative program. Which you say you were really extensive. I, I had introduced the one district, one factory program. There was a planting for food and jobs. There were massive infrastructural projects going on. The port rehabilitation project um, was completed. So all these were very significant achievements of the party. Slogans and, or achievements, uh, uh, sir? Sorry? Were they just slogans or achievements? Because no, but if what, you listen no, okay, to word yeah. on the streets, yeah. they tell you that, I mean, 1D, 1F, 1, you know, yes. District 1 Warehouse, Free SHS, all these have been just slogans that have landed but, us where well, we are, are today, Are you serious sir? about what you are saying, that Free SHS was a, a mere slogan? You see, people make pedestrian comments mm. about issues when they have, I mean, uh, is that what we are saying, that Free SHS... Uh, uh, was a mere slogan. So I've listened to parents uh, who have complained it, incessantly yes, yeah. about the level of education and the time that their children even spend in school mm. and how they come out of school and now they have to pay extra yeah. money yeah, but, to teach us, to teach their children. Oh, I said very bad. I said very bad. I said very bad. Oh, So, if you go to it, as he said in the drag Alan Shema thing, yes, this be why he's being dragged yes. because a question, a simple question was asked, which demanded a simple answer. Yes. And the question, the answer that Alan gave to the question, no, it didn't sit down well with a lot of people. Now, let us break down what um, Alan said Alan in his response to the question of he was part of the problem. Yes. He saw the things happening in the country. So if he really is that man, he is that guy who is now campaigning on the fact that he's going to bring people hope and industrialization and whatnot now. Why did he not speak up No. I feel you see, you are, see, if you are part... Yes, as a senior member of a group, it's not appropriate for me to come out and criticize government. Oh. Exactly from in where. So right now, what is happening? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, right now, he's, he's not part. So he's not a senior member again. Jesus. Oh. So he can criticize. Oh. And I kept saying, say, mm -hmm. if Alan, mm -hmm. the election, mm -hmm. the super delegate election, mm -hmm. he was he didn't come out third mm -hmm. on that list, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have resigned. And we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been here mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. It means that Alan is here because the party didn't treat him fairly. You feel like he's here to settle his personal vendetta. Yes. His personal scores. Yes. This is not about the youth. Never, never, this never. is not about the betterment me, me, of the country. This is not about any industrialization yes. agenda. Alan is just here to settle his personal score. Yes. Okay. Showdown. Okay. He they won't do showdown mm. with the MPP. Not because about I him. thought say, he was even going to apologize. Yes. In this kind of situations, you tap into the emotions of Ghanaians. So, oh, yes, I was part of the problem. I identified some of these problems, but maybe I, when I amplified or when I, I mean, you know, yes. mini, you, as a minister, you don't have a lot of power, you understand? So maybe you go feel even lie, you go feel even talk, say, oh, okay, this and me kind of, but man, this one, man. This one, this one yeah. this straight to the point, too. Say, she said, your man is saying, say, as he be part of the thing there, you know, go feel come on. Yes. And uh, uh, Belamundi kept asking, say, insisting, say, no, I'm not even talking about politics. If you have internal party issues, uh, that one is your Fine. problem. We are talking about the general hardship in the country. There were no you jobs. saw it happening. So why did you not say anything? Then Alan, trade ministry. And the third party, no, ebe ye ye. independent, no, ebe ye ye. Ebe ye. It means that. Hey. Allow independent team, you know, mm. if you did part of them and mm. there's any issue, mm -hmm. you can't come out okay. and say it. Okay. That's what the title win. Mm. So even if Alan win president mm -hmm. and then there is an issue in their party or the party know they do well, mm. you as part of the team, you can't comment. Mm. If KSS know the do well, Scanty is not supposed to speak out. Yeah. And that's a mistake. Okay. You see, that's what I mean. I say, Alan, if you wanted this, mm -hmm. Alan should have come out long time. Everyone has been saying it. They, they, the moment they, they appointed him as the minister, yes. he accepted yes. and decided to work with this government. How, he was four years, five years or something yes. like that. He was the minister for trade and industry. So he has been a minister for a very long time. Yes. It's not like, oh, maybe you, you were a minister for six months. Maybe. You were a minister for years. You understand? So you have been part of the road. And mind you, his ministry is one of the key sectors of the economy. Ow. Trade and industrialization, it be basically how. It be, it be how the, the when the economy, economy they operate. Economy. So you 
Yesterday, some MPP communicator was saying, say, Alan couldn't uh, contribute anything when he was the minister for trade and industry. Don't you think that is an indictment on the on the, uh, on the political party in general? Mm -hmm. Why are you people... They are, you, do you know what they are doing right now? They are singling out Alan, making him look like Alan didn't the perform. Bad. If Alan didn't perform when he was a minister, that translated into your performance as a political party. You, you can't... Do? You can't sideline Alan. You are part. Alan was part of you. So if Alan failed in the trade ministry, MPP failed. Everybody failed. Charlie, communication be so weak in that party. I don't get it. Say so they are making it look like Alan with this. Bro, if Alan failed you to provide all. jobs at the trade ministry, it is MPP the Martin. Yes. Don't make it Alan independent Alan, as a Alan party. Alan president. Nah. But I am disappointed because I sat here and I said, say, Alan is a fine political man, yeah. fine gentleman. That a lot of people actually they believe. Say so you go feel poor a Peter Obi, you know, conundrum for this country. Yes. But where the, he, he, he said it's he is going on the media to throwing tantrums. You understand? Instead of talking about okay, maybe I win I'm here. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do. He is talking about and uh, this one did this to me. They said the the people that followed me they they are treated as an uh, uh, outcast. We do not care. Now our party, Nimundi, have treated you as an outcast. Do you know what we are yes. feeling? Is it Bella, Bella, Bella Mundi asked him that you are a minister for a very long time. Mm -hmm. During that eight years, Ghanaians were struggling. There were no jobs. Mm -hmm. Health sector, boy, mm -hmm. employment, boy. Mm. So how come eight years you sat down they are not and what? Yeah, you, 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 you watch age. people struggle. Mm -hmm. Or you didn't speak because mm -hmm. you are a big man in your party. Mm -hmm. So if MPP they stand again and mm -hmm. then Alan be minister again for twelve years mm -hmm. or Alan Trump minister for twenty years, mm -hmm. it means that Alan will never speak even mm -hmm. if Ghanaians are struggling for twenty exactly. years. Exactly. This is what Alan is trying to tell yeah. us. Because Once again, these are not no, 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 this, he said it in the yes, interview. Exactly. You said about six years in the current administration. Oh yes, yes. As well six long years yes. as Minister for Trade yes. and Industry, yes. things clearly weren't going right within the party based on Ghanaian sentiments. And I'm Ghanaian. Yes. I wasn't too happy with a lot of things. In the party? within. Well, I'm not a member of the yeah, party. No, no, but, but you know, yeah. You know, generally, yes, yeah. in Ghana, things didn't look right. Yes. And we had complained severally about those things. Yeah. We didn't hear you speak up about those things. But is that what you expect a founding member of the party to do? That if there are challenges in the party, I come out openly to speak about it. No, for no, whose benefit? Not just challenges within the party, but generally. Oh, you mean in the generally country? Generally in the country as well. I mean, you talk about the fact that for a long time, from yeah. 2007, 2008, up until now, you've been victimized, along with people yeah. who followed you. Yes. So imagine what Ghanaians have been through. And that's why we're asking that. Okay. Why okay. has it taken you so long to speak yeah. up? and endure and take up a position within yeah. this government, even when all this was happening to you yeah. and Ghanaians were also struggling. Yes. Well, but um, if I'm part of, let's say, a group at a very senior level, I don't think it is appropriate for me to come out to criticize the government when I'm aware of the challenges and whatever was going on. As I said, I've been a senior member of the party. The last thing I would do is to claim that I had no knowledge of whatever was going on. So you were very much aware of everything? I was very much aware of everything. Mm. But I'm suggesting to you mm -hmm. that it is not appropriate. I mean, if, people, if some people uh, would have taken a different view, that you are part of it, and then you come out and you are making noise about the government, now, why would you not step out? Sir, there were young so people I understand who didn't you. have jobs. Sorry? There were young people who didn't have jobs. The health sector was struggling. I yeah. mean, literally every aspect of the economy was struggling. And you're saying that as a senior member, there was no way you could have come out to speak about some of these things that Ghanaians were speaking about. How then do we trust the, the, you now well, no, that okay. you are coming out to say you want to be president and you yeah. care about Ghanaians? Uh, you, you, I think that there's time for everything. Now, it's a process that you go through in governance. You know, when you need to speak about an issue, mm. you find the appropriate time to speak about it. Okay. Especially when you are aware of the circumstances that have given rise to the situation that you find yourself in. So I'll give you a typical example. Okay, sir. But let us also not make it as if the MPP, right from the beginning, had a very bad a record. That is not so. Mm. I, I would dispute that. Okay. Because, to be fair, 
to the party and uh, our president. Remember, we came into office at a time when the country was on an IMF program. Mm. Within a matter of two years, we were able to exit from the IMF program, which at that time was unprecedented. Mm. We were able to exit from the program. And between, I would say, 2018 and 2020, mm -hmm. we recorded uh, one of the highest uh, growth rates in our economy. We had introduced the free SHS program, mm -hmm. which was an innovative program. Which you say you were really I, I, I had introduced the one district, one factory program. There was a planting for food and jobs. There were massive infrastructural projects going on. The port rehabilitation project um, was completed. So all these were very significant achievements of the party. Slogans and, or achievements, uh, uh, sir? Sorry? Were they just slogans or achievements? Because no, but if what, you listen no, okay, to word yeah. on the street, yeah. they tell you that, I mean, 1D, 1F, 1, you know, yes. District 1 Warehouse, Free SHS, all these have been just slogans that have landed but, us where well, we are, are today. Are you serious sir? about what you are saying, that Free SHS was a, a mere slogan? You see, people make pedestrian comments mm. about issues when they have, I mean, uh, is that what we are saying, that Free SHS... Uh, uh, was a mere slogan. So I've listened to parents uh, who have complained it, incessantly yes, yeah. about the level of education and the time that their children even spend in school mm. and how they come out of school and now they have to pay extra yeah. money yeah, but, to teach us to teach their children. So maybe his media people are not giving him the right materials to, you know, tap into because yeah. this is sad. For someone that is supposed to be a beacon of hope for some people, for someone that people are actually pinpoint and say, oh, Alan Gofi come and shake the system. The media... Toy the go, no, the things he did say, no, no, this, you know, they give any solu practical solution to anything. It is about where I am, you see, where I am, you see, this one do me this, this one. We, bro, what's right. make we do? We don't get see. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. If you have a, yeah, yeah. If you have a problem with your party, that's your business. Alan, what are you going to do with the Afrofranto party? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just like I have an issue with KSS. Me could be me on YouTube to come and challenge. Yes. That when he went to UTV, he mm -hmm. said something. He said the Ashanti region. Mm -hmm. People voted for MPP because of him. Okay. At the Ashanti region. Okay. And let's see what is going to happen. Okay. It means that Ashanti region, he or person, he just wants to. He just wants to make. Yes. A, 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 he wants to make. So a we can sit here and and actually, you know, I don't know. Par, I don't know. Put things in his mouth. But what he is saying, it they make it look like. He he's in there to actually uh, 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 um, like uh, make a statement. Not be not be to win or to Say do anything. Yes. He gets something they try to do. I where it be personal. MPP, yes, it is personal. It has got nothing to do with the youth. It has got nothing to do with anyone. Yes. And it is sad. <laughs> That's why people are saying Ken should leave NPP and join Alan. The moment Ken also leave NPP, join Alan. Same. Their motive is to scatter NPP. Same. Not because of you sitting at ah, home. They say politicians, ah. it is their interest first too. Oh. And so that is why ah, Alan is making some of these things. Oh, but this one, Friday, you don't come on air and say Show it too. You don't come on air and say some of these things. It is internal party issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you deal with that one because we all know politicians are selfish. But you don't come to sit on TV and actually amplify yes. or trumpet that. No. Yes. Alan, what are you going to do as an independent candidate? You're the youth that you have promised to come and salvage us from this unemployment situation. What are your plans? What is the transformation agenda? The you uh, need uh, the ATL and GTP, Great Transformation Plan. What is it about? And as you see, I don't know. I don't I I uh, most of the conversations like he went to criticize MPP. What broke away from MPP? By this time, you see, we did a vote for all the Kumasi, they remove images of executives. I'm I'm disappointed in MPP. I, I, I are disappointed. No. <laughs> if you see the social media, mm. they are disappointed. We are MP. Yes, we are MP. Yeah. If you look the way they the inter, no come out can't. We are not. We are. We are 
Sorry, the youth. Oh, yeah, so boy, no man, I'm be criticized. Oh, but I be very bad. I see youth president. Youth organize the nation. What do you This is how. Mm. How youth you organize that? <laughs> People youth organize. What is this? Youth. Mm. Yes, they, 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 no, that is no youth. That is youth. 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 And youth. <laughs> what is the air question? Youth. How? When you. you youth. <laughs> and then if you go on social media, they, they, we are doing this. See the uh, the secretary, MPP, the man secretary. Yeah, you mentioned Kodia or maybe Justin Kodia. Kodia. Look at how they are proud. Mm. And then we have some individual, the young people. Mm. That, uh, who they call them social media apparatchiks. Apparatchiks. Yes. MPP is what? I hear in your mouth. 700 Ghana cities. Oh, oh, mommy, if you bring me, yeah, yeah, Jai, Jai, you know, see, don't fight for your interest alone. If you are fighting for your interest alone, fine. Who do you open say? But at the end of the day, the people coming, we have siblings. People they struggle. Who then are MPP is working? Shemoto Wayne and that. Look at the road we the face here. So we were there. We were there. We were there. We'll be there. In this country. So, um, guys, make whatever you want to make out of this Alan situation. Um. We did. We just came to basically present to you people what he. If you prove we wrong, yeah, we go day him back. Me say, oh. me, at this point, we are looking for someone who will come wipe yes. one of tears away yes. from us. And if me, I've said it, Alan oh. or Bob, baby, you about this. But where the things they go, they mean him. They be saying to there. Make whatever you want to make out of his statement. Make your own decisions. If you feel yeah. like he is the right man, no problem. problem. But we there, we will keep we, talking. We, we the assistant, we are looking for the right man. Yes. When we find the right, we man. we go left for here. <laughs> Oh, that'd be hard. That'd be hard. We're out.